Hi, this is John Starks, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. RealFansRealTalk.com, where Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and Intern Tom, for the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan, I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark. Lestat. What's going on? It's Trip Young. We out here. This is the last stop of the day. We out here supporting Anthony Mason Jr. with the whole Family on Three charity organization, and I'm here with Senator Leroy Comrie out of Queens. He, he covers uh, Laurelton, Briarwood, and a couple of other neighborhoods out here in Queens. So first question is... Is what brings you out to support our family on three? Well, you know, I believe in what uh, Anthony Mason Jr. is trying to do to give back to the community and the programs and utilizing sports and um, utilizing the power of positivity uh, to make children realize that they have other options and that they can, uh, you know, everything that uh, Anthony and his crew are doing, the family on three, has been something that's positive for the community. So I'm always trying to help young people that are looking to you know, give back to their own community and to do things that can change children's lives. So. Okay. All right. And then are there are there other programs that the, the senator's office does that um, yeah. also? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we work with a lot of different youth groups and, and different community groups as they try to organize programs. And we try to help them with getting the space, getting the facility, uh, working with them with um, doing everything they can to advertise and promote the issue and doing everything we can to ensure that people can uh, partner up with them as well, helping them find the links and the resources to make these things happen. Now, we do, I, I don't want to talk too much politics, but we do okay. have a, a presidential uh, race well, go, I'm, go, I'm going on right delegate. now. I'm a, I'm a realist, you know. I mean, I, I'm a Hillary delegate. Um, you know, all of the other candidates are making promises that they have no track record of ever getting anything done. The only person that has a true track record that has really made the attempt that has tried to do things is Hillary Clinton. Now, has she been perfect? No, but she's tried. She's made the honest effort. She knows what to say. She knows how to reach people. I think that she's the kind of person that we need in office is somebody that, that can actually do things. She has respect of the le legislators, which is why they are scared of uh, bringing her in, because she knows that she can talk the talk and speak the logo and, and do the things necessary to truly convince people. So I'm with Hillary, and I hope that people come out to vote um, in the election in New York. And I, but even more so, I hope that they come out in September and November to vote for the president. All right, now, since, since, you're, since you're supporting Hillary right now, if she right. does get it, when the next term comes around, is that something that you might be looking into, into doing, running for oh, president? No, no, I'm not interested in running for president. I'm happy being a state senator. You know, running on a national level takes a lot of different... Um, uh, a lot of different focus than, you know, what, uh, and there's a lot of other young people and other people that are really ready to be president that I'd be happy to support. So we have other young minorities that are uh, moving through the country that are ready, and, you know, we just have to work as a community to help get them to that level where they can be considered a serious presidential candidate. What I'm afraid of is because of Obama, they, there's a, you know, this whole Trump thing, make America white again, you know, is, is really about taking back the government from and making sure that we never have another minority president again. But we have plenty of qualified people in and around the country that can be national leaders. And we just need to identify, support them, and give them the money and the resources so that they can get out there. Okay, now we got the NBA playoffs starting today and Family on Three, since it does focus on basketball, you, you are a, a native uh, New Yorker. Yes. So you've been following the Knicks for a long time. I have. Now I have to ask you a question. What can be done to, to get the Knicks the back to the promised land? I think we need to get John Stark working on the team as, a, as an assistant coach. Number one, we need to make sure that they, you know, recruit some other players that are serious about playing as a team. And, you know, I think that, you know, we need to, to work with the management by sending them letters and emailing saying that they need to get the right coach and, and, and spend the right money and, you know, give Carmelo Anthony a team of people that he can feel comfortable working with. You know, he has a unique type of game and he has to get stimulated the right way and I don't think that they've been able to do that. He's a great player, um, but if you don't give him the right support, no one can excel without the right support.
Now, another New York native, Queens native, uh, Mark Jackson, who is vacant right now and available to uh, to, to, to take a head coaching job. Uh, the Knicks, uh, recently they, they've been talking about having preliminary discussions with Mark Jackson. What do you think about the Knicks bringing in Mark Jackson? I think that would be great for Mark Jackson to come back to New York and be the coach for the Knicks. I think he's been a successful NBA coach, and I think he knows the right way to motivate young people to be excellent basketball players. So. All right, and now since since the Knicks aren't in the in the playoffs this year, who are you taking to win it all? I'm gonna see Golden State go for the double. You know, I think Curry's on fire. I'm, um, you know, I, I don't know how anybody beats them in a four game series. So you know, I, I see them going all the way, and you know, I see him setting some more records and just throwing those threes from. You know, from Mexico into the hoop and what? <laughs> all right, Senator. Now, are you are you are you on social media at all? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. You know, I'm, I do a little bit on Instagram. Not we haven't started Snapchatting yet, but okay. we Snapchatting, Snapchat, Snapchat, yeah, Snap, Snapchat. Snapchat. That's more tongue tied than anything else. But you know, but we are we are we we have a heavy presence on Facebook. All right, so you can come on my Facebook page and you know take a look at what we're doing anytime. And what's the uh, the Twitter and the Instagram for the people at home? It's our Comrie for Senate, it, um, you know, or, Le or Leroy Comrie on Twitter. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you see what we're bringing you, man. We're here with the senator right now. This is, this is big time, but this is Real Fans Real Talk. We out here, family on three, supporting Anthony Mason Jr., and we do got to get out of here, but we're going to continue to support our kids. And, Senator, we appreciate right, you coming on to the program. Thanks for taking the time. Enjoy the rest of the day. All right, we out of here. FansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Domus tripped young and intern Tom For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I'll get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats, man